Now, I'm going to cover this later after we cover economic news with Max Kaiser and ask him why he thinks this is happening. But let me just get a little bit into this now, then I'll get into the military, economic, and uh, huge NSA and uh, Supreme Court rulings where the illegals can all vote. I mean, that's the plan. They're going to get our guns. If I could turn the illegals into pro-gun, pro-liberty people, uh, quite frankly, I think we can handle 30 million people. We, we can't, folks. It's, it's, it's going to be over. Socialism at the grassroots, fascism on top. All our guns are going to be taken, and the state's going to take most of our kids. There's going to be a civil war in the country, and they're going to racially brand it. And it's very, very sad, and I've, uh, the globalists will, will destroy this country one way or another. And what was the old saying? It's easier to burn down a barn than to build one? The globalists love to wreck things because it's so much easier, and they've created cosmology or kind of a universal world construct. And, and this is just the news from today and yesterday, a very small portion uh, of it that I'd like to show uh, TV viewers, radio listeners can just search engine this. You can find it. California allows up to 1,000 times more glyphosate in drinking water than needed. Then it links to major scientific studies uh, that a fraction of what they allow in the water and what they say is safe is absolutely connected to sexual cancers, especially uh, female cancers, ovarian and breast. And, and of course, we lead the world in breast cancer, and we lead the world in glyphosate usage. Uh, the study published in Food and Chemical Toxicology is entitled Glyphosate Induces Human Breast Cancer Cells Growth Via Estrogen Receptors. Hey, don't get rid of Roundup. Just cut your breast off, man. Come on. I mean, don't, don't, don't tell Angelina Jolie why there's a 3,000 plus percent breast cancer increase in the U.S., something like 2,500 uh, in Canada, and, and, and I'm wrong. When I was in England, I learned they've gone above us. They, they now lead the world for major industrialized countries uh, in breast cancer, uh, and, 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 and the U.S. and England are kind of neck and neck on, on who's going to take the crown. You go to countries where there's no GMO, uh, where they're not taking a bunch of vaccines, where they don't have glyphosates, uh, people are like, cancer? That's what 80-year-old people get sometimes? You mean you have children dying of cancer? We've never heard of that. Uh, never heard of it here either. But hey, again, I'm a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Next, I'm going to tell you that the NSA is spying on you, like I told you 18 years ago, exactly how they were. Of course, it's in the news now. They're economically spying on you. But see, here's the rest of the story. I don't like the communists in Venezuela, but the communists there are kind of the run-of-the-mill, blue-collar type. So you've got to halfway respect them. They're not like a Chinese communist type. It's actually run by the West, by a bunch of bankers like Rockefeller on record. Venezuela considers banning baby bottle feeding, but they're bare minimum going to ban uh, formula. Well, I mean, why not? Uh, brains of children fed different formulas on some cases are 30% smaller. I mean, the CC size of the cranium inside is the same. Look this up. The brain never grows. <gasps> You'd think what came out of mama's mammary glands is what you're supposed to have. But how about have something that's 70% sugar instead of 20% sugar like it's supposed to be and doesn't have the protein fat? But we all know low fat's good for you. So, I mean, no wonder the public's a bunch of zombies. Fluoride poisons. I mean, I always say to people that call them that are really dumb, did your mother not breastfeed you? And they always get mad and go, no, she didn't. And I feel sorry for these people. These are lobotomized zombies. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars nightly news, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Thank you so much for joining us. The news websites are Infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. You know, I saw an article where Ben and Jerry's on, on the subject of breast milk being healthier for children, no kidding. They've been toying with the idea of having human breast milk flavored uh, ice cream. And then you've got a, a trendy uh, company I saw last week in the news here in Austin uh, that has uh, breast milk in their lollipops. So I guess they've got women who are pumping milk and doing that to make a bunch of money off a specialty market for yuppies. 
But then babies whose brains are designed, whether it's a cow, then that milk's designed for a calf. Or if it's a uh, chimpanzee, its milk is designed for a chimpanzee. And it's almost become a conspiracy theory that you shouldn't breastfeed your children. And they, oh, women, go to work, you know, the first few months and, and, and just give your child this formula. And they've had all these formula scandals around the world where the formula is so bad, children die in mass. And so then they reformulate it to where it only brain damages the children. And I'm not trying to be mean about this, making fun of people. Uh, it's a very sad culture, very sick. If you can't breastfeed your children at least the first six months, something's wrong with you. Me, I was breastfed till I was 18 months old, and my mother always tells a story of I walked up to her in Target, and I said, hey, Mama, I want to eat right now. I used another choice word, and she said, that is it. You are weaned officially. <laughs> but, but, you know, in third world countries where the kids would starve, you know, sometimes it goes longer, and it's a natural thing. And they try to make it dirty. They try to make it bad. This is what mammals do. I know that's a conspiracy theory for some people out there. Uh, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, and, and, and uh, neither does mother's milk. And I had Mike Adams in here last year, and he brought several different brands of the best-selling. We should do a report on this. Best-selling uh, formula powder. And... Most of them were 70 plus percent corn syrup and sugar. It'd be 45 percent corn syrup and then 15 percent uh, high fructose corn syrup and 15 percent this sugar and that. I mean, unbelievable. And that's not what is in human milk. It's a lower percentage of natural sugar from your mother. It is a protein and fat that your brain's made out of. It's like they say, don't eat butter. But then all the studies show it's the hydrogenated artificial oils that are cooked that are clogging up your heart because it's not natural. It's like McDonald's. I heard on the news 10 years ago, almost ran off the road, that, well, McDonald's has been authorized to continue using silicon uh, in their uh, fried foods like McNuggets. And I went home and looked it up, and it turns out that most of the fried foods at fast food places have a plastic agent in them. Do you know what that does to your kidneys? See, we're living in the twilight zone. So, so right here, California allows up to 1,000 times more glyphosate in drinking water than needed. Venezuela considers banning baby bottle feeding. Now, again, here's something that gives you all sorts of cancer, testicular cancer, breast cancer, because it's, it's, a, it's a toxic estrogen mimicker and totally accelerates the aging. That's why girls are going into puberty when they're six, seven, eight years old now, used to be 13, 14. Uh, boys are waiting to go into puberty till 15, 16 because they've been feminized. In fact, there's a large phenomenon now I read about where male testicles uh, are, are, are not dropping ever because we're being hit with chemical warfare. Here's another one. Venezuela considers banning baby bottle feeding. The Venezuelan Congress is set to discuss legislation next week that would prohibit bottle feeding of infants in an attempt to encourage breastfeeding and reduce the use of baby formula. And it says that the head of the Venezuelan ruling Socialist Party said the proposal would prohibit all types of baby bottles as a way to improve children's health. Oh, I hate to agree with socialists, but I tell you. And the nanny state has no right to do stuff like that. If, I mean, uh, I guess it is really child abuse, though. I guess they do in a way. But it just shows how that's its own rogue, weird socialist state down there. That's why they want to bring it down. If you're the communist state of China murdering political dissidents and giant Foxconn, you know, factories with humans committing suicide mass, that's okay. But if you want to see a real socialist country would actually want a bunch of worker bees and wouldn't want the cost of brain damaged dumb people everywhere. But a eugenics program would. America was the enemy, folks, because of our liberties. So they put fluoride in our water that lowers IQ on average 20 points, increases cancer. Look it up. Harvard studies. Magic word, Harvard. Uh, 60 years of formula, all of it. The public are as dumb as a box of rocks. Let's continue here. Researchers find biological evidence of Gulf War illness. 
and they found in the brain scans, the CAT scans, that indeed there is cell death in the tissue of the vets. This is old news, folks, but this just came out Friday. They know that the U.S. government, the Pentagon, ordered more than 200 sites, some small, some gigantic like Amasia. People thought nukes had gone off when they blew up these weapons caches of uh, sarin, VX, mustard gas, you name it. And there were mushroom clouds of it right over the border from Kuwait. It rained down. 25,000 plus chemical weapons detectors went off. I watched the congressional hearings in 93, two years after Desert Storm. And the troops, some of them that were cl closer, it got through their mask and killed them. But then when the detectors went off, they went, we got a problem. Are we going to admit we ordered chemical weapons blown up as if they didn't know what was going to happen? And now we're going to have to give everybody treatment for this? Uh, the answer is just tell them take their mask off. It's a false alarm. And the troops went, well, most of these detectors aren't sophisticated. They're chemical tape. You put tape all over the tanks on your uniform, and if chemical nerve agents hit it, stripes pop up. And everybody was on the news going, my, it turned on. <laughs> my eyes are watering too. Oh, no, you didn't get hit by anything, sweetie pie. And then they had all these Marines and Army officers in wheelchairs testifying that, you know, just six months ago, I could still walk. It made me cry watching it. No, I can hardly talk. And the guy, like, was famously died a few weeks after the testimony. I think it was a Marine colonel. And thousands of them died right then. Hundreds of thousands have been sick. Fifty-something thousand have died total. Thousands within just a few months of it happening. And uh, massive increases in birth defects, just like using DU, 14-fold increase in Fallujah, seven-fold increase across the board in Iraq. Our troops, same thing, three- to six-fold increase in deformity from the DU. Why? Because the globalists did it on purpose, folks. They, they, they invented DU as a weapon back in 1945. In 46, uh, they had white papers written up on it. I've had Doug Rocky, the former head of the program, all of them on. And they knew exactly what it was doing. They knew exactly what was happening. And, and our military w was corrupt and was influenced heavily by 30,000 plus Nazis they brought over here. But they still would, would radiate some troops and nerve gas some troops and test and you know, get foster kids and radiate them to death. But that was core groups of scientists. But there was enough general knowledge. That was kind of the mad scientist core, the eugenics core. You know, uh, regular scientists led into the cult. And any, any scientist will tell you that's, that's a good scientist. They've been offered into the cult. My dad was offered into the cult as a high schooler. He was in the... Uh, you know, the science academy and for the state and a junior and a senior and I've told the story before and they brought him in and and, uh, and the other five top scorers out of hundreds and said that they brought to the university for testing all summer long and said all right you ready to hear the grand plan <laughs> the point is is that that's how you get the mad scientists to do all this once you have that core you can expand your shadow government using the mad scientist and if you look at all the different departments of energy, all these departments, they're all run by mad scientists like John P. Holdren, who writes books about how he wants to get rid of 80% of the world's population, how they're spiking their water supply, wrote the book Ecoscience. Now, the issue, I mean, this is just today's news. California allows up to a thousand times more glyphosate in drinking water than needed. And again, by needed, then, uh, that's what they mean by what's safe, to cause breast cancer in women. That's Mike Adams' headline. Last week, a story broke that revealed glyphosate, the chemical name of Roundup herbicide, multiplies the proliferation of breast cancer cells by 500 to 1,300 percent, even as exposures of just a few parts per trillion. The study published in Food and Chemical Toxicology is entitled, Glyphosate Induces Human Breast Cancer Cell Growth Via Estrogen Receptors. There's a whole lot more to the story, however, but to follow it, you need to understand these terms. PPM equals parts per million. Minus six equals numbers of parts out of a million. PPB equals parts per billion equals 10 minus nine, which is 1,000 
times smaller than PPM. PPT parts per trillion equals 10 minus 12, which is 1,000 times smaller than the 1 million times smaller than PPM. And then it just goes into the fact that parts per trillion in the major studies show huge increases in breast cancer, just, just in a breast cancer study. Uh, and now they are allowing 1,000 times what they were previously authorizing in the water. And then there's a lot more to the story. The point is it's up on Infowars.com and naturalnews.com. But, but, but here it is right here. Researchers find biological evidence of Gulf War illness. And it goes over the fact that, okay, they are brain damaged. Okay, this is going on. Well, they did autopsies a few years after the war on people dying. You can look this up. It was even in Life magazine. And found that they had nerve gas, sarin, VX, and other agents in their brain stems. And that's finally what killed them was losing motor control. And finally, they can't breathe anymore and suffocate. So you go from being I'm a Marine Corps colonel, Mr. Tough Guy, to your wife changing your diapers, to fighting for your life, then on a respirator, then dead. And they knew, folks, just like they knew the dust at the World Trade Center was deadly day one, and said, take off your respirators. You don't even need them. Because if they would have said issue respirators, they would have had to admit that the dust was deadly. And you ask, why do they do this? It's not just that life's cheap. They enjoy killing you. Bayer Pharmaceutical, as you know, about eight years ago, was found guilty in France. They also were uh, criminally in trouble in Australia. Nothing even happened here. And the documents came out in the court case. It was on NBC News, you name it. Just type in uh, Bayer blood scandal. And they knew that every ampule of factor eight for hemophiliacs and other disorders was filled with a mega dose of HIV, hepatitis, multiple types of hepatitis. It was a death sentence injected into people with compromised immune systems. A death sentence. And they had the corporate minutes where for a decade... They were in there suppressing their own sub-executives who didn't want to be part of it. Because it was seen as a public service to kill hemophiliacs. So I want you all to listen to me and listen real good. I don't like having to do this job. I never thought of myself as being one of the most prominent people in this fight. I don't have all the answers. I don't want to be your leader. I don't claim to do an even near perfect job. But we're the best there is here at InfoWars.com. And I've done the research. And quite frankly, things are much worse than I can even explain here because there's so much. I mean, look at just the news from today here on my desk if you're watching us on TV. There's probably 200 news articles here, each one more important than the last. All I can say to you out there, all I can say to you is that I know there are a lot of smart professional people out there who've been taught their entire life that getting ahead means not taking risk, going with the flow, and working in the system. And I know a lot of you know this, but you say, well, how are you going to change it? What are we going to do about it? The public's dumbed down. Nobody cares. If you have that attitude, it is a death sentence to you and your family. Look at the numbers. If you look at neurological disorders, if you look at all the different diseases increasing everything, no one is going to escape this. And your progeny, your children, their children, the whole future of humanity is being cursed by the pollution of evil, the corruption that's going on right now. Everything is organized around being anti-human. And so as long as it hurts humans, it's authorized and encouraged. And the worst of the worst have competed to get in positions of power, and they really enjoy trying to forcibly inoculate you and your family, not to protect you from pathogens, but to brain damage you and hurt you, on record. 
just like the fluoride, just like the glyphosates, just like the uh, additives that are put in so many things. This is all done publicly to so poison and so intoxicate humanity that we're basically walking dead. And, and, and we're not walking dead yet, but we're getting close to it. Even the best of our species show the wear and tear from this poisoning process. And, and, and this is the big enchilada. They knew when they blew up giant chemical weapons bases. He had like the fourth biggest stockpile it was estimated. I was doing some research again last night. Saddam had one of the biggest caches of chemical weapons in the world. It had been mainly sold to him by the U.S. The U.S. had given him satellite trajectory and weather maps on how to fire it and artillery and spread out of helicopters on the Iranians. They always go, he used gas on his own people. Yeah, and, and our criminal government commanded him and, and ran that operation. And then they blow it all up, just huge caches of it. It rains down over the region. Our troops would only pull back, in some cases, five, six miles and would have convulsions on the spot, would be coughing, eyes watering. And all of this is going on. Yeah, there's AP. Rumsfeld helped Iraq get chemical weapons. Yeah, he helped, he helped Iran get weapons. He helped uh, North Korea get nuclear reactors. And they knew when they blew all these, over 200 facilities, big ones, many of them huge, that it would rain down. And then they said, oh, your detectors are going off. False alarm. Remember you heard on the news? Chemical weapons alarms. False alarm, false alarm. And then they didn't give them treatment when they go in. They won't give them surgeries. They won't give them help. They give them Prozac. I mean, that's what they think about all of you folks. Okay, we have really bad people that have been known to do secret experiments in control. ProPure is introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. This is the Pro One by ProPure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. I want to be clear, ladies and gentlemen, so many new listeners say, man, this guy is so negative. I don't want to hear this. No, I'm telling you that major studies have shown that Roundup, I mean, they've got movies about it with George Clooney, for heaven's sakes, is massively increasing cancer. And I'm here telling you we need to do something about it. I'm here telling you they put fluoride in the water to give you cancer and dumb you down, and they're on record doing it. Let's get moving and warn people. I guess this show is negative if you don't think anything of yourself and you just think you have no power. Me, I take all this real personal.
and I'm angry and I'm focused. And here's something else. I don't apologize for going to the BBC and getting in their presenter's face who was laughing at me. I don't apologize for getting in the face of uh, Piers Morgan. I don't apologize to get in the face of FBI agents on video when they've gotten in my face. I've done nothing wrong. I'm here trying to wake people up, and I'm sick of the globalists trying to keep everybody calm. They're like, oh, the way to be credible is to stay calm. Bull. They've taught you it's all about staying calm and wearing a psychopath suit and sitting there lying to people with a bunch of crooks in Congress and crooks on national TV all acting calm and everything's normal and everybody don't upset anybody. That's because they don't want you to awaken. Coming up, confidence in newspapers at near record lows, polls find. Oh, really? UPI. Poll, Obama approval rating plunges more. The most on people under 30. 17 points. You lost the trendy factor, Bubba. Guess who's way up in under 30? Infowars.com. Poll, Obama approval rating drops amid slew of controversies. What's the problem with that, though? It, he's just a puppet. The system needs to lose credibility. The Federal Reserve, the private offshore banking cartel. But it's called federal. Maybe Jeffrey Dahmer should have called himself Federal Reserve. The cops would have just walked off and said, oh, continue murdering people. Uh, poll, confidence in Congress at all-time low. Again, this, the good news is people know they're being lied to. They know they're being screwed over. But that isn't enough, folks. The system knows you're waking up, so they're buying armored vehicles, building bases, billions of bullets, training for war against us. We've got to get aggressive and in their face now, and we've got to vote with our dollars and support alternative and real media, and we all need to run for office, and we all just need to swarm the system with so many different actions, there's no way they can respond to it. Even if they've got AI predictive uh, systems that can pretty much gauge the future to a great extent, it won't matter, they'll just see their own doom. Now false flags a household word. They've got mainstream news articles I saw this weekend in Britain and the U.S. saying, did the U.S. and NATO stage the chemical attack? These people predicted it. These people are us. You see, I just want humanity to survive. I don't understand what's so alien about that. People think they get ahead screwing other people. And that's not how you get ahead long term, ladies and gentlemen. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Well, Edward Snowden tells the press in an online press conference that the truth is coming out. The government can't stop by murdering me. But he goes on to say they want to murder him. The Chinese government's come out and said he's not working for them. And said it's ridiculous that Dick Cheney said that. If, if anybody's working for the communist Chinese, it's Dick Cheney. And the Bushes and all them opening up China and selling us out to them. Bill Clinton, all of them. It's just ridiculous. Give up your rights to the military industrial complex. The Chinese communists will get us. The globalists put them in power. Kicked out Chiang Kai-shek. Unbelievable. Uh, that's just uh, some of what is coming up on that front. We're going to be joined as well by Max Kaiser. Uh, he's got a new article out that's just went up on Infowars.com. The collapse of the current bankster regime is upon us uh, is his headline. And he uh, wrote this article for Infowars. Dot com. So we've we've got that article uh, up there right now. He will be joining us. He said you'd see a dollar plunge and a worldwide stock market plunge starting at the end of April, early May. 
and uh, he'll tell you that he's a month and a half off. That's what he was saying a week and a half ago. I still wasn't convinced completely, but more and more, I hope he's wrong. Even though it's a fiat system, we're riding on top of it. And uh, it's just the, 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 the Federal Reserve hinting at, at ending QE4 or QE Unlimited or QE Infinity, which is just free money to them that they loan out to us at 10, 20, 30 uh, percent. Just, just hinting at that to show how kept we are, how, how controlled we are uh, by these foreign offshore banks has sent the stock market the last few weeks, as you know, going downward. So we're going to be uh, looking at that with Max Kaiser uh, here in the next segment. First, I'll get into uh, the latest NSA news uh, as well. And again, uh, I got into the fact, just to illustrate who the globalists are, they knew blowing up nerve gas caches would maim and kill many of our troops and debilitate them. That's now admitted in the New York Times. Just shows you who these people are. California allows up to a thousand times glyphosate that they know uh, a thousand times lesser massively increases breast cancer. Venezuela considers banning baby bottle feeding uh, because it makes the brain smaller, the IQs lower, and the children unhealthy. Yeah, it's, just, it's all done by the eugenicist to have the working class basically brain damage their children. I mean, it's all, and, and they've known this for 50, 60 years. Of course they've known it. How many controversies have they had where babies... Guys, will you print me an article on this because it sounds insane. Uh, just type in baby formula, baby deaths. You'll see stuff in China and India and Africa where the globalists really sell the bad stuff, where, where the babies just die. Here, they know that'd be a little too obvious. So they just, you know, get ready to have... Um, one, one of people are getting, you know, diabetes when they're five. Well, you're getting, you know, 75% high fructose corn syrup and sugar in the average baby formula. I mean, of course, your pancreas is dead on arrival. But what's wrong with having your arms and legs sawed off? I mean, you know, I got a buddy right now who's got diabetes. Might have to get his toe chopped off. What's wrong with that? That's loving and liberal. It's trendy. I mean, what's wrong with Bayer putting HIV in the shots for hemophiliacs? It's loving. It's trendy. Of course, I'm being sickeningly sarcastic. This stuff gets to me. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm exposing. That's what I'm angry about. So I'm recapping that for people that joined us. But I've got about 15 stacks of news here I've not yet gotten to. And we're going to go over it all with Max Kaiser on the other side of this quick break. But first, uh, is, is this his prediction a month and a half uh, late coming true? Another article by Paul Joseph Watson that just went up. Did Israel attack Syria again? Strike on advanced weapons shipment threatens huge escalation of conflict. The Saudi Arabians are announcing they're going to ship missiles to Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and, and when Al-Qaeda blows up U.S. airliners with these missiles, will they invade uh, a, a country not involved again, like Iraq? Probably. Probably, because there's a war against reality going on. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.